The closer we walk with God, the clearer we see His guidance. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Lawrence Darmani. Lawrence writes, I needed an underground water tank and knew precisely how I wanted it constructed, so I gave clear instructions to the builder. The next day, when I inspected the project, I was annoyed when I realized that he had failed to carry out my instructions. He had changed the plan, and therefore the effect. The excuse he gave me was as irritating as his failure to follow my directives. As I watched him redo the concrete work, and as my frustration diminished, a guilty conviction swept over me. How many times have I needed to redo things in my life in obedience to the Lord? Lawrence continues, Like the ancient Israelites who frequently failed to do what God asked them to do, we too often go our own way. Yet obedience is a desired result of our deepening relationship with God. Moses told the people, Be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Walk in obedience to all he has commanded you. Long after Moses, Jesus urged his disciples to trust him and to love one another. This is still the kind of surrender of our hearts that leads to our well-being. As the Spirit helps us to obey, it's good to remember that He works in us to will and to act in order to fulfill His good purpose. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses 28 through 33. The Lord heard you when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I have heard what this people said to you. Everything they said was good. Oh, that their hearts would be inclined to fear me and keep all my commands always, so that it might go well with them and their children forever. Go, tell them to return to their tents. But you stay here with me, so that I may give you all the commands, decrees, and laws you are to teach them to follow in the land I am giving them to possess. So be careful to do what the Lord your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Walk in obedience to all that the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and prosper and prolong your days in the land that you will possess. That's today's scripture reading from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verses 28 through 33. And now let's pray together. Lord, thank you for second and third chances. Please help us to want to follow your ways and to follow through in obedience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.